Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur, and today guys we're going to be talking about loot crates, cave loot crates, deep sea loot crates, and beacons. We're going to talk about what it is, and we're going to explain it to you guys that don't really know and which ones you should go for, which ones are not important. And so you guys can go in there and get the best loot possible. So let's go ahead, you can see i got a bunch of tabs open because it's going to be important to show you guys what's going on. Rather than showing you in game because there's no way in game I could truly give this true amount of information. So let's start off with the differences. There's beacons, loot crates, and deep sea, deep sea loot crates. Loot crates are the ones you find in caves and underwater um, underwater caves that you guys can find. And then beacons are the ones you find above ground. That's these ones right here. So let's go ahead. And then there's deep sea loot crates, which are on a specific a timer. And there are three videos that I have for that for Scorched Earth. For the island and for the center so you guys can check those out but let's go ahead and take a look at what these beacons are and where you guys can find them from pretty much uh the best way you guys can do it i'm just going to shoot past these but you guys can see them real quick this is level requirements for center ragnarok and for the island these are the levels that are required the red ones take 60 45 35 25 so pretty much once you hit 60 or 70 70 for scorchers 60 for everything else. you can pick up whatever you want are pictures of them but it's not too important so let's go ahead and talk about the possible loot so basically guys for beacon drops we're pretty much going to say that the first couple are completely worthless that you guys can get a couple basic things but spark powder and stuff but it's really not that good so you guys can see that the white ones the green ones i really don't suggest them unless you're looking for these specific saddles and then of course there's the blue drops this is where it starts to get important i think if you guys are running around looking for it, i would highly suggest Get blue drops and above reason being it's not because you want the blueprint that you always have it's not the items without quality you want it's these ones right here and it's very specifically these three so you guys can get metal picks metal hatchets and pike blueprints with quality if you guys see at the top here out of those blue drops so that's where you guys can get some of those really high metal pick metal hatchet and uh pike drops out of there those are the blue drops and those start at 25 i think you should try to get them as much as possible and then if you look at the purple drops it's the same thing Really what it comes down to is that long neck rifle and pterodon saddles with, with quality and it allows you guys to get away with that. And so those are the two major ones. Even Ankleo saddles can be important. And mammoth saddles are even the same thing. So mammoths, Ankleos, pterodons, and long neck rifles are all super important. And then let's talk about the yellow drops. Yellow drops have a ton of stuff in here. All your flat gear that's all that, that has all those. It's got your fabricated pistol. It's got your carno saddles, but especially right here. This is it. This is that fishing rod blueprint that a lot of people ask about. There's a couple other places you guys can get fishing rods with quality, but this is one of the biggest ones is out of those yellow drops. So we're talking about anything above a blue drop, I highly suggest. Let's look at the black, the red drops. Red drops are going to have your assault rifles and your rocket launchers, your RG and your Rex and your Spino saddles and your Plessy saddles. I think... Beacons are still very important, so if you guys see red drops, if you see blue drops, if you see yellow drops, if you see pretty much any of those drops, I would continue to grab them and not worry about getting them, and I think it's very, very important. So that's the answer to a lot of those questions, is which beacons do I grab? I think it's good to get all the ones you can that are blue and above. Blue can kind of fade off towards the end, because as you guys can see, if you guys have a lot of those, you don't have to worry about them too much, and it's nothing major, and everything else, if you look at it, really does not have much of a description or anything good in here i'm just showing you guys the yellow ones and the white ones really don't help out early game they might help a little bit for just the small pieces especially like the blue ones or the green ones and you can get some armor out of it but that's about it guys after early game i would suggest moving on so we're going to now step into loot crates these are ones you find in the caves specifically pretty much and it's, I'm also going to talk about drops off of alphas, fishing. As you guys can see, I'm showing you guys right here all the different caves, and there's all kinds of stuff you guys can get. They're, they're supplies, they're whatever you want to call them. There's all kinds of names for them. But let's talk specific about alphas. On um, alphas, you guys have a chance to get all these different stuff on here. Specifically, what I really like is the crossbows, hatchets, and picks, and pikes. These aren't blueprints, but these are the individual items. So killing alphas helps you out. Alpha raptors, they throw in possibility of getting a sickle on there and you guys can see then you can see the quality range here you can see alpha carnos and rexes only give you chit and stuff but you can still get all these so which is really nice to go ahead and hype for still or hunts for and alpha mosasauruses this is the big the chance at fishing rods it's specifically for the fishing rods so i would suggest killing alpha mosasauruses plus you get black pearls off of them and everything so alpha mosasauruses are huge still in there now, the question a lot of people have is, what can I get off of fishing? And this is the list. It's ginormous. You guys can get chitin, fur, illy, 
buy it. You guys can get all the weapons. You can get that pike, that long neck that you don't have. You, or the rocket launch. You guys want the compound bow, assault rifles, and all of these saddles in different qualities of weapons and everything. So definitely focus on those fishing ones because you have to get some big stuff out of them. However, you still can't get those. If you haven't noticed, the hatchet and the pickaxe, those are not in here yet. And the only place you guys can get those is either A, killing an alpha, and it's not a permanent, it's not a blueprint, it's just these. Or you guys have to go back and get those blue drops. That's why those blue beacons are so important on here. And the next thing we're going to be talking about, guys, is the over caves. These are the island ones that we're going to be talking about. These are just the standard generic caves that you guys can find on the island. And what you guys can see is pretty much if it's a blue one, you're good. Yellow, you want to keep it. And red is the same thing. You guys can get weapons out of them. You're not going to get um, as blueprints out of the, of the generic cave ones. However, if you look at the island the swamp cave, it's completely different. You have a little bit of a different stuff out of those, out of the swamp cave. And you can get actually uh, different stuff like uh, the red supply drop, as you guys can see, is this one right here. So I clicked on the red supply drop, just wanted to show you guys what it is. And you guys can see, you guys can get all this stuff out of that one specifically. That's what they mean by supply drops or beacon drops. There's different words for it. But you guys can see that all the blueprints above, so these are the ones that are unique for that cave, but you can also get blueprints out of it. So I highly suggest that these blue crates um, are extremely important. See, if you see the red ice one, if you haven't heard of it, this is what a lot of people don't know. This is why a lot of people confuse deep sea loot crates with uh, the red ice cave drops specifically. Because I've seen a lot of comments about, hey, isn't on the center and all that stuff. No, they are not the same thing, but they count. You can get deep sea loots out of the ice cave up north. So there's those cut two ice caves up north on the island. You guys can get those deep sea loot crates out of. And then you've got the swamp cave. And if you've ever seen it, in the swamp video that I do have up where you guys get free cement and paste, I point out a very specific point in the swamp cave where there is a loot crate that respawns. I've sometimes looted it up to seven times in one loot run or in one swamp cave run. And that's just clearing up them and then coming back. So I would highly, highly tell you guys to do that. So then there's the deep sea and the dunes caves, and those are different. We're gonna get into those in a minute, but I want to finish the underwater caves. Oh, in the underwater caves, guys, you guys have all the options for all this stuff, as you guys can see, in the blueprints above. So you guys can see this is where you're going to get your Tapajara saddles, the yellow ones, your Calcatherium saddles. Anything above here, you can get the Capasu, Paki Rhinos, there is, you know, two diseases. So you guys still need to do the caves underneath there. Now, we're also going to step into Scorched Earth very quickly. Basically, you guys can see you get all kinds of fun stuff in here. But if you really want to get those good blueprints, you're really going to be looking more in the blue and above situation where you guys are going to get those. And you're really not going to get many things until you hit the yellow supply drops. That's when you guys can start getting those blueprints on Scorched Earth for those really good drops. So that's why I highly suggest that you guys check those out if you're going to be Scorched Earth. And then these, all the rest of this, guys, I'm not going to get too far into it because this is all becoming now more of the events on there that you guys get to see. So that's going to be it for the Let's go ahead and jump over to Deep Sea Loot Crates. Again, I have three are on these. It's the island in the center and Scorched Earth where you guys can go ahead and find out where you get these. I will link them in the description so you guys can check them out. But this is going to be the list of stuff you guys can get. This is all stuff. These are blueprints and items. They are the exact same thing, and they quality range up to the highest quality. You guys can see they can get up to that 4.0 quality, which is huge. This is where you guys get those metal swords. You guys can get those assault rifles and all that kind of fun stuff. But if you've noticed, there is no hatchets and pickaxe again. Once again, that is why it's so important for a lot of people to understand. And there is no fishing rod. The fishing rod can only be gotten for a non-blueprint out of the Moses source, and if it's a blueprint, you have to get out of those yellow drops, the beacons, the very specific ones that drop over land. So you guys can find those, you guys can see all this stuff. I'm going to link all these specific links here for you guys. So these are very important pages. I'll tell you these guys, these are be beacons and all that kind of stuff. But really, you guys can see them. That's what they look like right there. So I've got videos on those so you guys can see them. However, thing that the game PDF show us and i'm going to link these for you guys too and these are explore maps these are awesome little maps that show you exactly where everything is now they only show you the dots and the of them but at the same time they do show you where they are so i'm going to turn these all off and you guys can kind of see what you, got. you guys can mark your obelisks on here so let's go ahead and scroll it just perfectly there go so i can turn my obelisk on you guys can see it pops up the red obelisk and everything you guys can find out where your dossiers are specific coordinates to write a dot on the screen 
to look at notes if you want to. Artifacts are the exact same thing. I'll show you where they are in the caves. Obviously, those are in the caves, the two ice caves and everything. And I'll show you where the cave entrances are. These are the underwater ones. So I have a video on the underwater ones and the ones above ground with cave entrance, tech cave, and all that kind of stuff. Next thing, guys, is these loot crates. This is going to tell you the exact order of all the loot crates, in, the possible loot crate spawns inside caves. These inside of the ice cave, inside the second ice cave, Carnal Cave, over here by the mountain, Volcano Caves ones. All those different loot caves are a chance in here. The, is that item in here now? Next thing it shows is you got those deep key, and it shows you where all the beacons can drop. It shows you every place that a beacon drop, but specifically, it shows you what color can drop there. This shows you that these blues can drop down there, blues can drop down there, yellows pretty much are more inland, and the reds are really up north. If you guys want to find those red drops, you guys can are found. They are literally in the northern half of the map. That's it. So the only places you guys find those red drops. Can find them. Those are the red beacon drops, and you can find everything else. But remember, blue drops are just as important because that's where you guys can get the picks, those hatches. That's where you guys are going to find those. As you can see, there's different maps for each one of them. It shows you guys right where they are, and everything. Scorched Earth is the exact same thing. It shows you where the beacons are. It's going to show you where the coordinates for all the maps are. So I hope this gives you guys a good idea. Understand what the loot is, what the beacons are, what the loot are. It's really kind of an overview for you guys to help understand. Which ones are important, which ones aren't important, really what can be skipped and not skipped. And really the only thing that can't be skipped are those white and those greens. I would say after that you pretty much want to pick everything up. So pretty much that's the rule I follow. If I buy a blue, I grab a blue, because there's a chance you can get a really good beat, uh, blueprint. So that's going to give it up for this episode, guys. I hope you guys have learned something on this episode. I hope it helps you guys in the advancement of your tribe and trying to get ahead of the wet game. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope I see you guys on the next episode of Wings Corner. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure you guys leave a like on the video if it's a good video. And guys don't forget drop a comment down below if there's something that I missed possibly with all this loot stuff. Uh, very independently if you guys wanted to talk about it but at the exact same time if there's something you guys want to see a different video or something or you just want to see how the possibility to, or how I do something let us guys know and I hope we guys see you guys on the next episode I hope everyone has a fantastic day